Hello everyone, Chandler here, and I am officially two years on testosterone. Well, I mean, technically my two years isn't for another couple days, but thanks to the power of movie magic, by the time you're watching this, it will have been two years. I wanted to answer some questions that you all had for me. Um, I wanted to just talk about some of the changes that I've noticed over this past year. I've noticed physically what I've noticed mentally. So I asked for questions from my Instagram page, which if you don't follow it, you should. The link will be down below if you would like to follow that in case I ask any other future questions, which I will. There will be lots of them in the coming time. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to throw in that if you do not see your question answered in this video, I'm also going to be doing a YouNow live stream on Wednesday. The link to follow that will be down below, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna do it around 5 p.m. Eastern time because I live on the East Coast of the United States, so that just seems like the most reasonable for me since I have classes in the morning because if you didn't know, I went back to college. That's kind of a big life deal thing that happened in my life. <laughs> it's a big milestone. All right, so without further ado, I am going to just talk about some of the differences that I have noticed, the changes that I've noticed mentally and physically over the past year. So one of the first things that I want to say that I've noticed is I have definitely noticed that I have grown more facial hair. It has been the year of hair growth for me, um, <laughs> because uh, I remember, I think when I made my one year on testosterone video, I had maybe, I joke, I say I had maybe t like six facial hairs <laughs> that were just on the sides, um, but I now have possibly the world's gayest chin strap. <laughs> I was always torn about how I wanted facial hair because I felt I feel like I um, I want to grow it out just to say that I can but then as I started to actually grow it out I was like I actually kind of like this it seems like a, a thin amount of hair enough to where it's not like a beard but it's also enough hair that when people see me they're like oh I think that person's older than 12 so that's nice. <laughs> I've also noticed I feel like my face shape has changed a little. I feel like my voice has also changed, but also it is the curse of ch the Chandler Wilson channel because every time I say I'm gonna film a YouTube video, I end up getting sick. I'm not sure if my voice right now is the most accurate representation <laughs> of the changes that I've experienced. I, I feel like I've noticed that my muscle definition has definitely changed. My shoulders are broader than they were before. Uh, my chest muscles, like my pectoral muscles, are a little bit more defined. Like, because they're more defined and because I had such a small chest to begin with, my chest did not shrink. It did not get smaller. However, the ratio from pectoral muscle to breast tissue has become more even, so it, it seems as if, like, it, it would appear that it's gotten smaller. It hasn't. I've also noticed some fat redistribution, so like my sides. I still have my hips. However, I have noticed that the sides of my torso do seem to be like, it, it's like I'm flatter and then wider on the sides, very straight on my front, and then like also straighter on the sides, which is, you know, the, it's, it's weird being straight, but um, just, I need to stop trying to make jokes. <laughs> they will never be good. I joke that, um, like before I was on testosterone, people thought I was either like a 13 year old girl or like a 12 year old boy and I joke and I'm like, now I'm moving up in the world because now people think I'm a 15 year old boy. Also, another thing that I want to mention is a lot of people have asked me if my hair has gotten curlier on testosterone. So I feel as if my hair hasn't gotten much curlier. So the thing about my hair is my hair is naturally curly, but it is only curly when it's long. So um, all the videos I made when I was younger on my YouTube channel, when I was pre-T, all of those videos are where my hair is short enough to where it's straight. Um, and so now that my hair has grown out more, it is curly. I do style my hair, so my hair naturally curls into my face, and I don't like that. So what I tend to do is I tend to take all my hair and like twirl it backwards and clip it. That way it dries in the opposite direction. Um, and then from there, depending on how it curls, uh, like how intense it curls, I decide whether or not I want to throw in a curling wand as well. So I have curled my hair for this. This is not like how my curls naturally would curl. Another change that is unpleasant is that I sweat more and I'm stanky more. 
I get so greasy, my face. I've also had like more hair growth around like my thighs and my stomach. I would say in terms of like mental changes that I've noticed, I've noticed that like as more changes come and I, I just gradually become this beautiful blend of all the different characteristics that I aspire to have, that I feel more confident and more comfortable in myself. So now what I wanna do is I want to answer some of the questions that you all left on my Instagram post. And like I said, I will also be answering more questions Wednesday, you now, 5 p.m. Eastern time. One question that I get a lot is this. Do you think you'll ever stop taking tea? A lot of people ask me some variant of how long are you gonna take it? Um, what's your plan about continuing to take it? When I first started testosterone, I had multiple different routes that I considered. Uh, I considered taking it for a year and then stopping, taking it for two years and then stopping, taking it longer but at a lower dose, and so what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of at like a medium dose. There are trans guys that will take the dose that I'm on. There are also trans guys that will take double the dose that I'm on. So I'm at like a good medium, I would say. I'm a little bit higher than my non-binary friends. And so I don't think that I want to stop testosterone. I do think that there is the potential that I might lower my dose. Here's a question that I get asked a lot. This question says, how has being on T changed your perception of yourself and your gender? A lot of people ask me if I felt as if my gender identity changed once I started testosterone, if I started to question my gender identity more again. I personally like to question my gender consistently. So every once in a while I will say like, how do I feel about he, him pronouns? just to check in with myself and see if I still feel the same way because the truth is gender is a very fluid experience. For some people it is the same their entire lives, for some people it is different every day. <laughs> and so gender can be a very fluid experience and so I like to give myself the freedom to embrace that and while my gender identity is pretty, it's pretty steady, <laughs> I do like to at least give myself the freedom to explore the idea that maybe it could be fluid, you know? I don't ever want to feel like I'm trapped in a label that doesn't feel right for me, just because that's what I've labeled myself as for so long. Um, and I don't feel like going on T has made me feel more inclined to question my gender identity. I know a lot of people are worried that going on T is going to change who they are, and I don't feel like it's changed who I am as a person. I feel like it's just given me the freedom to be more to just embrace myself more. Here's another question that I get asked a lot, and this is actually asked by my friend Ty. Hello, Ty. As a non-binary person, are there changes you like slash dislike more than others when it comes to dysphoria and presentation? So I do get asked this quite often if there are changes that I dislike from testosterone. I can joke and say, you know, I dislike that I smell that testosterone makes me sweat more, makes my skin greasier, but it's just one of those things that to me is just so minor that it makes no difference because those are also things that I can combat in other ways. Like, obviously I can combat my odor with my hygiene, like wearing deodorant and showering is an easy way to combat my odor and my sweating. And then also having a more developed routine when cleaning my face can combat having a greasy face. This next question is another question that I get asked a lot, and it's about the different types of taking testosterone. Did you consider the patches or gel or pills before going on the shots? I want to just quickly say that testosterone does not exist in a prescribable way using pills because it is too hard on the liver. Uh, that being said, there are multiple different ways to take testosterone. Amongst the shots you even have, you can take it as IM, which is what I do. I do IM in my thigh. You could also do sub-Q. Um, so IM is intramuscular, sub-Q is subcutaneous, and that is your fat tissue. And then there are even more ways than that. There's also um, you can get a gel form, there's also a patch, and then there's also like an insertable kind, which is considered like a surgery, which is very expensive. I've tried to go on the gel, however, because my insurance doesn't cover it, gel in the United States, if you don't know, is $500 for a one month supply. What is this if it's not covered by insurance? So I got prescribed that and immediately said, never mind. So this last question uh, is another question that I do get asked a lot. Um, I tried to pick the questions that the most people, <laughs> the common themes that I saw. Um, so this last question is, did you ever feel pressured to pick a side? For example, either living as female or as male. 
A lot of people ask me if now I feel dysphoria in the opposite direction, because if before my dysphoria was that I was too feminine, do I now feel dysphoria from being too masculine? So like before, it was a consistent low hum of body dysphoria that I kind of just brushed aside because I was fine. The social perception from that, the social dysphoria, uh, caused it to be intensified. But now, because my body dysphoria is so much lower, because I feel so comfortable in my body now, it's not amplified by being called he, or by being called a man by strangers. Alrighty everyone, so hopefully you learned a lot from this video, and if you asked a question, hopefully it was answered, and if it wasn't, remember I will be live on you now, Wednesday, 5pm, be there. I will leave a link down below where you can follow me on there. I will also have other links to like previous videos down below, as well as links to all my social media that you can follow me on if you want. And I will be uploading videos consistently from now on. Hold me to it. <laughs> and I will see you all next week. Bye!